Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I could give you a gift today. It would be to join me at the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal, Canada. If you can't get to Montreal, it would be to go to any Just for Laughs Festival around the world. I started going when I was diagnosed with cancer because someone in a support group said, you love comedy? You've got to go to Montreal to Just for Laughs. It's three weeks of comedy entertainment. So what did I do? I went to Just for Laughs and I've gone every single year except for the pandemic. And I spend morning, noon, and night laughing. Now, some of you aren't able to go because you're in treatment, and I would urge you to go online and look at the many comedy videos that Just for Laughs has on YouTube. When I get to the airport, I usually run into a bunch of comedians I know, and we travel together, and then breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening shows hanging out. It is a comedy festival. You can see your favorite comics from all over the world. And I go every year. I meet new comics. I reconnect with comics I've known for a long time. But the common denominator at Just for Laughs is that you just laugh morning, noon, and night. So what did I discover? I discovered that comedians have massive anxiety. So many of them have massive anxiety. And I realized that when I watch comedy, I don't have anxiety. I'm just having the greatest time. So how do they do it? How do they get on stage with incredible anxiety and make us laugh? How do they have the nerve? How do they get out of bed and do it? And I started to think about what I do if I'm feeling anxious. And what I do actually just made me laugh. So I'm going to share it with you. I look at the mirror and I say, you talking to me? You talking to me? You probably realize that that comes from Taxi Driver, that it's a famous line by Robert De Niro. But I talk to my anxiety if it arises. I hang out with it. I diffuse it. I break the stranglehold that it has on me at that moment. So you're saying that's easier said than done. Well, my first chemo treatment I threw a chemo comedy party in New York City because I thought this could be anxiety provoking and I don't want to spend six hours in a chair being anxious. So what makes me have a good time? And that's having a party and listening to comedy. So that's why I threw the first chemo comedy party. And if you want to know more about that, there's an episode on the chemo comedy party. But what I learned from the comedians is that even though they're feeling anxious, even if they have stage fright, they get out on that stage and they face their biggest fears. Whether it's stage fright, rejection, no one laughing, forgetting their material, they do it. They allow themselves to be vulnerable, even though it causes them incredible anxiety. 
And that's what I realized. Even though cancer treatment or my mortality could give me incredible anxiety, I have to get up every day and slay it. And one of the greatest ways I found to do that was by injecting comedy into the fabric of my entire day, waking up with it, developing my comic perspective, listening to more comedy, dissecting jokes, looking at the premise and figuring out how did that comedian make that painful topic funny? If they can do it, then I can do it. If they can do it about all the different struggles they've had, why can't I do it about cancer? And that's why with this podcast, Beating Cancer Daily, we deep dive into comic perspective. But if you look at the comedians who are so successful and they put their anxiety out on stage, you can search comedy and anxiety on YouTube. And a huge list of comedians will come up. You'll see Maria Bamford, who's so open about being in psych wards from time to time. Joe DeRosa, Taylor Tomlinson. One by one, they tell you about their anxiety. Adam Ferrara, anxiety and depression. Each one of them lets you in under the veil to see how their brain Copes with anxiety. So, why can't we borrow that? Why can't we use that when we're going through cancer treatment or survivorship? We can. That's what's so amazing. Not only can we laugh at their anxiety and pain, but we can start to look at our own problems through the comedic lens with their help. So for some people listening to comedy routines by anxious comedians would unravel them. And that's good to know. If that's the case, then I would suggest that you listen to very positive comedy. Observational, slice of life, very easy comedy from very likable comedians that you can just laugh at the small things in life. Because if listening to a comedian who's anxious will make you more anxious, then you want to counter that by listening to very positive comedians who are very, very happy and just really look at the smallest little things. Of course, I'm thinking about a Jerry Seinfeld who can dissect a Q-tip and make it funny. There are many comedians that use a very uplifting approach. And that's a good way to surround yourself with comedy too. I actually love positive comedy. I use the comedians who really delve into their anxiety and their problems to actually look at how they work through things. But looking at just not using it therapeutically in that way, but using it therapeutically to boost your mood is a really positive strategy. And I do that every day. I write positive comedy and I love to listen to positive comedy. This is why I encourage that we start every day with a laugh that we start every day listening to a little bit of comedy. And then we keep a notebook and we write down the things that are causing us pain. And then we use the comedy model to start to dissect our own pain, our own fears, our own anxiety, our own depression, our own drama, so that it doesn't seem so dark, so that we infuse air and light and we don't feel so all alone. Now, I always say, if you are in therapy, make sure that you clear this with your therapist. 
I'm just sharing that I use the Just for Laughs Festival every year to have day upon day of hysterical laughing. And you know what? It can be exhausting. I remember going up to my hotel room three times a day to do chemotherapy, but then getting back out there to another comedy show and laughing as hard as I could. And then thanking each comedian that I ran into for helping me get through my cancer treatment. So I'd love for you to listen to some of the routines on anxiety. And if it doesn't make you too anxious, I'd love for you to contact me at the Comedy Cares Foundation, either through the record button or through the contact menu and write to me and let me know if by listening to some brilliant minds dissect their anxiety, if that brings light and air into the problems that are troubling you, and if you can identify with their perspective, and let me know if it's been helpful. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you loved today's episode, then tell the world. Why? Because Beating Cancer Daily and our membership circle are both a listener and donor-supported experience. So the more people you tell and the more people that join us, the more robust and interesting programs our nonprofit, the Comedy Cures Foundation, can bring to you throughout the year. I really want you to go to ComedyCures.org. And of course, I always want you to make a donation. It's tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. But what's super exciting is not only can you laugh and explore the comedy there, you can look at our membership levels and find the one that's great for you. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, gift one to a chemo brother or sister or to a caregiver that you just want to help them improve the quality of their day. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.